If I had to pick one skill that can completely change your life, not just your business and your wealth, but also how you live your life, how you interact with people and how you deal with all sorts of relationships, then it would be this is to master the art of closing. And that is why I'm going through the HTC course myself. Now, this is week three of my HTC journey. Uh, today, unfortunately, I'm not joined by Ranveer, who usually makes it on my videos because you know he's been busy and he's traveling quite a bit. But this week, week three was just so completely mind blowing to me because I've never even thought of selling in this way. And uh, in fact, I have so many notes over here that I just can't wait to share things with you. But in this video, I'm going to share with you my top five lessons that I learned from HTC that I'm going to be applying towards growing my business, but also in my general life. And you want to make sure you follow all these things because there was just so much content. Week three, believe it or not, the entire lesson was six and a half hours which is just crazy. Now, of course, I, I actually didn't go through the entire six and a half hours uh, in one go, even though it's a live lesson. I did one hour per day and I was able to cover the whole program in one week. So let's get started. The number one thing I learned is closing is not about you, it's about your customer. And too many people make the mistake, whether you talk about sales or even any other relationship, is that uh, they try to talk about themselves, you know, this is what I do, this is the benefits that I provide, this is why you should buy from me. And it's none of that. Closing is all about the customer. So you need to be a very good communicator, but more importantly, you need, you need to be a very good listener. And the problem with just talking about yourself is, first of all, people come to you because they are looking to solve a problem, not because they want to they want to find out how good your service is necessarily, right? Of course, they, they want to do that, but that's not the main reason why they come to you. So there is no reason to get overly excited. In fact, if you get overly excited about yourself or even like very, you show a lot of enthusiasm when talking to the customer, then you're just going to drive them away. So when someone starts talking like that, people automatically associate you to be a salesperson and which is not what you want. So, you know, you want to be, you want to put yourself in a position of more of a, a, a consultant or a doctor. People are coming to you for advice and you're just listening to them before prescribing them the solution to the problem. So that's number one, closing is not about you. It's all about the customer and you wanna make sure that you let your customer do most of the talking and you mainly do ask all the questions. That's the main thing. The second thing that I learned, and this was like completely mind blowing to me. And if there's one thing you can learn from this entire program is this, you know, if you learn this one thing, it's gonna completely change how you interact with people. And that is, you want to communicate with people in a way that they want to be communicated with. Uh, have you ever had a situation where, you know, especially if you're a parent or something, you try to make your kids do something, but they just end up rebelling against you because, you know, the way you communicate and you the way you expect to expect them to communicate is actually not in alignment. And this is because we have different personality types. Now, this topic is so important that I actually took so many notes just on this one topic and that is this program teaches you to classify people into four different personality types that is sapphire, pearl, emeralds and ruby these four gemstones and this topic is so important that I just made an entire video on this so go back and watch my last video or I'll leave a link right here or click in the link in the description below but you definitely do not want to miss this video because it's gonna completely change your outlook in terms of how you sell but also in terms of how you communicate with people so that was number two learn how to read people see what their personality type is and learn to communicate in a way that they like to be communicated with so in a way as a closer or a sell or, or a salesperson you're almost like a psychologist where you learn to read people and in in some ways you also a bit of an actor where you learn to communicate in different styles now speaking of communication what are the different components of 
communicating with someone now most people think of you know the words that you say right i'm i'm speaking certain words and then they expect that that's gonna be the bulk of the communication whereas the actual words that you speak have a very small impact compared to the other things. So when you talk to someone face to face, 55% of your communication is your body language, 38% is the vocal tonality, and 7% is the actual words that you speak. Now, when it comes to selling over the phone, you don't have that option. You don't have the option of having body language, right? You don't meet someone face to face. So what are we left with? We're left with about 85% vocal tonality and 15% actual words. Now this topic again is so important and this is something that I've been working on myself uh, in my in terms of my speech. I've traditionally suffered a lot with you know not speaking up, having bad vocal tonality, not being clear. And perhaps the best thing I've done is actually just making YouTube videos because you get to make videos and then you get to watch your videos and get instant feedback in terms of what you can do better. But this topic is so important that I'm gonna make a complete video on vocal tonality. And it's you once you learn this, once you learn uh, it doesn't even matter what you say, you know, it's about how you say it. So I'm going to show that to you in my next video. The fourth thing that I learned was no pain equals no sale. Let me say that again. No pain equals no sale. Now this goes back to the first point where people just talk about themselves, but they never make the attempt of finding out what pain points your customers have. And People come to you because either they're looking to solve a current pain that they have, some sort of uh, problem that they have, or it's an anticipated problem that they want to avoid in the future. So if you, if your product or service helps them solve this problem, you'll be able to sell to them. If not, then then you won't be able to sell to them because you're not solving a problem, right? At the end of the day, your business exists to solve your customers' problems. Now the problem that most uh, salespeople have is first of all they don't even find out what the real problems people have are and most people will come to you with surface level problems but in this program I learned that there's at least three levels of problems and the deeper you dig, dig into these problems uh, the easier it's gonna be for you to close them because at that point customers will also realize that they they're having all these problems that that you can solve. So the first level is of course the surface level where you know they come to you and they tell you you know I want to grow my business or whatever you know that that's their surface level problem that their business is not growing. The second level you can dig deep, deep, deeper and find out you know more about exactly you know what's constraining the revenue you know maybe they're not making sales maybe their marketing is bad whatever you know problems that you can help them solve. So get really deep into level two, which is not just the surface level, but you know, just keep asking them questions and find out. And the third level, you know, if you go really deep with the problems, then that can be even more personal questions. You know, what would happen if these people don't take action, you know, maybe they, they'll go bankrupt. You know, maybe these people have a family to support. They have employees to support, employees, families to support, and they don't want to lose all of that, right? They don't want to let other people down. So get really deep uh, into these problems. And at that point, those people are already sold, you know, they're going to sell themselves to you. So when it comes to selling and closing, if you are the one who's just talking and talking, and if you say something that doesn't, that means something, but then if they tell you the same thing, if you make them say it by having them talk about their problems, then that means everything. So no pain equals no sale. And the fifth best thing I learned from this six and a half hour lecture was learn to gauge your customer's level of interest. When you start talking to someone, in addition to finding out things like what's their personality, right? In the first 30 seconds or so, try to find out how interested are they or how sold are they when they come to you. You know, like there's some people who are like, not very interested at all like they just maybe shopping around maybe they're trying to look up different options that they may have or there's some people who are like ready to buy so you, you need to learn how to gauge their level of interest and this again comes back to being 
almost like being a psychologist you learn how to read people and the this program recommends that you can just put a number on people's level of interest from a scale of 1 to 10 10 being an extremely high level of interest and 1 being an extremely low level of interest here's the thing when people are extremely uh, enthusiastic when they come to you let's say they're showing a level of eight nine or even ten interest those are the most dangerous people because what happens is when you start talking to them and if they're already at a very high level there's only one way you can go which is down you know there's no way you can bring their level of interest up right so oftentimes you end up talking them out of the sale so be careful of those people you know especially when you're talking to someone who's like very um, enthusiastic maybe dig, dig a lot deeper into the problems and find out you know like these calls are not supposed to be fun and it's not supposed to be like very um you know enthusiastic you know you don't want to sound like a salesperson hey what's going on how can i help you again that comes back to vocal tonality not being a salesman being more of a doctor kind of situation where people are coming to you with their problems you're listening to them and on the other end there's people who are like showing very low levels of interest right they're like maybe they just saw your ad or something they decide you know i want to find out more about this what can i do uh, or what are your prices so for those people you want to bring up the level of interest before you reveal anything about your prices your services anything like that because if they're just shopping around let's say someone's like you know i'm looking to buy a new car um you know i'm i checked out your competitor competitors leadership whatever it is right but then if you just give them the prices they they just uh, they just buy based on price right why would they it's gonna be nearly impossible for you to sell so always uh, for those people what the program recommends is using reverse psychology where you're not trying to sell to them at all in fact you're almost like driving trying to drive them away from buying from you you know maybe you, you can ask them questions like you're not looking to buy something right now are you you know things like that or um, you know this is not something that you're not you're interested in right now are you and then make them sell to you you know they they'll start saying no wait i am interested and then o o over time as the conversation goes on you're gonna start you're going to be able to drive their level of interest up by going through their pain points. Some of you might think that this is all manipulation, but I don't think this is manipulation. It's just digging deep into what people already know, but maybe they don't know how to express it and finding really finding out what their problems are because most salespeople don't even go that deep, right? So you in a way you're developing that personal connection with people by being a good listener digging into their real issues and then providing a solution with your product or service and besides these five points the best thing about this program was actually they did a lot of uh, role plays they did a lot of sales calls and uh, this was so mind-blowing because i've never experienced anything like this but uh, they were able to they had different personality types talking to each other and because i purchased this program uh, i have access to their private community where they recommend that you need to do role playing and practicing at least one hour a day so i apologize i actually haven't been doing that but i'm gonna start doing that because i want to really master the skill because selling is not just about selling your product or service anything that you do in your life you're either selling or you're being sold to so i hope you're enjoying my journey as i become a closer in life because i feel like i'm not a closer at all not just in business but in life you know you need to become a closer because if you master this one skill it's going to completely change your life so i hope you follow along my journey as i progress and become a high ticket closer thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.